This man is a real force. Drew McIntyre. his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one, handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. He went away, he got a new attitude. And now he's back, bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance, he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. Well, you know, this ominous tune is just a prelude to the toll of man. We await the appearance of the sinister multi-time NXT champion. A competitor with seemingly no weaknesses, no fears, and here he is. Karrion Cross. You never know how a Falls Count Anywhere match is going to end such an unpredictable environment for these superstars. You get what it says on the package. Pinfalls are legal anywhere and everywhere in the ring, in the building, on the planet. Uncorks another one. Draped across the top rope. He's ejected from the ring. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? <laughs> One step ahead of Cross. We know these superstars have everything at their disposal considering this match could end up anywhere in this arena. Sky high! Way up there. With the counter. They're giving the WWE Universe a front row seat to the action.
McIntyre reverses and looks to capitalize. Oh, ouch! Oh, that can rock you. He's got him scouted. And responds with a counter of their own. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh, that'll rattle you. Countered it just in time. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Oh, chin-breaking uppercut. He's absorbed some damage already. Oh, stiff uppercut. Corey, how do you mentally prepare for something like a Falls Count Anywhere match? You have to be ready to adapt. Wherever your opponent takes the fight, you must be ready to follow. So expect the unexpected and have a plan in your back pocket for any situation. McIntyre now with an unrelenting attack. Cross has a look of someone surprised to be in such a position. Oh, straight forearm. That catches Cross looking. Uncorks an uppercut. He's one step ahead there. Oof. Counters. Drew McIntyre is bleeding profusely now. Right across the back of the neck. He turns it around. Oh, man, what an uppercut. He's on his heels a bit now. False Count Anywhere matches are absolutely no joke. And they're showing us that firsthand right now. Turning the tables. And another counter. <laughs> what a forearm. Oh, solid form. Oh, McIntyre holding him at bay. Oh, stiff uppercut. Landing the uppercut. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Unloading with an uppercut. Great wherewithal on the counter. Back and forth from these competitors. Man, what an uppercut. Oh, what a right. Man, that's an attitude behind it. And Cross is brought to a disadvantage now. Drew is looking thrilled with the beating he's putting on. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Had that one scouted. And Cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Cross finds a way to answer back, and it could be a turning point. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. McIntyre gets met with a response. Scouted. Ooh, we're seeing pure aggression from McIntyre. Cross on the wrong side of every exchange. He's got him now. It's a no good driver. Ooh. Down with a power bomb. He's forced back into the ringside area. And this match is heading back to the ring now. McIntyre turns things around. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Snap suplex. Sliding back in from the floor now. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. McIntyre vulnerable here. Boom! The Gulak attack. Does Drew have the resiliency now? The cover! One, two, three. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your 
your winner, Kerry Ross. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now.